What's going on, Explorers? Your man, Brandon Abandoned, 6'4", Explorer of the Rebecca Stickland. I got a beautiful house for you guys here. This house was built in 20, oh, uh, 2003, and it's gonna be demolished any day now. The fences are up, the property's already been cleared. We got here just in time. I hope you guys enjoy it. We're inside already, let's get exploring. So we're gonna start here in the garage to see exactly what's going on since this is where we got in that door right there it's a generator and a bunch of garbage but it's a very big garage it's only two doors but you could fit four cars easy a big mess of electrical always scary these units I'm sure and these boxes They've all got to be worth some money, especially these units here. So I'm sure the, the demolition crew that's already torn the outside lar yards up, they will come and remove all this stuff. Oh, look at this, beautiful, bright. beautiful walk around deck which I'm sure you got to see in the uh, the drone footage take a peek over in here more big units but see they've all been removed so they're gonna be getting picked up taken out of here even the shower the bathroom it's all torn up. All the good stuff. Just another way into that room. And look at that. Beautiful landing. Look down, see what's happening. It's a beautiful sunny day today. It's beautiful and sunny, but it's like minus 19. It's chilly. Look at all this marble too. Fireplace still set up. It's gorgeous. And look at all the pot lights. You had plenty of light in here. So we're going to check out this whole bar first before we go through that door. Nice big walk-in shower. Very, very nice. <laughs> this is all brand new. Still got all this tape on it. I'm assuming that means it's brand new. The back looks like it's never been. Unless they've they've just put these tags on so they know what to keep, what they're not to smash. That could be it. Look at that fancy glass. Fancy mirrors. We got the padded bar. It's a little loose for my liking. I'll show you different heat, your different lights. Yeah, I like the angles in that. That's cool. Now there's nothing in anything, so we don't need to go and open all the drawers up. Just here to enjoy the beauty of this house before it gets demolished. This bar is nice and tall though. That I like. <laughs> That's huge. You can see into another room. 
I'm sure we'll get into there. But you could have a lot of wine, a lot of liquor in here. Oh, very nice. At least this place is getting demolished and salvaged properly before any vandalism started. Tall ceilings, again, bulkheads, angles, walls, curves. I love it. Beautiful wood shelf. A dark wood's really nice. Very, very nice. This is a big room. You could party here for sure. Now, I think this is technically the basement of the house. Little handprints. Somebody was here with their child. And that's, hey freak, I'm gonna have to measure your hands next time. Yeah, I'm missing a lot of stuff. Which is good, right? It's. It's being salvaged properly. Ooh. Hear the dripping? That's no good. So this is the other room from those holes. That's where the liquor was. This house didn't have an abandoned smell until I got into this room. Hey. I like that. I like that a lot. Smell of an abandoned house on a beautiful, sunny, freezing day. Again, a special wood to keep moisture off of your clothes. Thank you everybody for the comments. Learning as we go along. shelf there. This is a pretty big house. It's pretty maze-ish. Maze -ish. And I like that. Again, I like when houses flow nice, but I also like when you can get lost in them. When it's like a maze. Maybe not for my own house, but definitely for being out exploring. A beautiful walk-in shower. You see this a lot, eh? The marble lining going around. Just the inside. The very modern sink. Again, 2000, 2003 this place was built. I'm getting demolished already, but like, look at that. And the way we've seen water damage and things in different area, like, that shouldn't be getting that messed up unless the foundation or something's wrong. So I understand as we're walking through this house and you're seeing all these weird little little problems definitely why the house is getting demolished you can't fix stuff like that it would be a lifetime worth of trouble unless you're willing to pay probably up into the hundred thousands whoa i was wrong there's a basement awesome but look at the size of this room and look at that. Whoa, whoa. Now that's a grand ceiling. That's got to be 20 feet. Let's see a little bit through there where the stairs are. Twenty feet. Now that's a ceiling. That's a beautiful fireplace. It's beautiful, but it's still too modern for my liking. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. It's still nice, but if I had to choose, I probably wouldn't be choosing that one for my own house. It's got a real cool remote. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful and huge. 
So let's go back to that main kitchen. And that's gonna be the stairs that we will take up. So look at the fireplace. Beautiful bar. Beautiful windows, beautiful doors. And yeah, I'm gonna make a few pictures and videos and then we'll head up. All right, we definitely gotta go up these stairs. I do like the other ones as well in the living room, but there's, there's just something special about these ones. The beautiful shiny wood. Just glass and open. Too bad all those aren't open right now. I guess it's all right. It might be too sunny if it was. See, I thought the kitchen would, would have been downstairs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this is the kitchen here. Beautiful colors. But again, it's in a bit of a rough shape. But not from vandalism, from, from developers. Or sorry, uh, the de demolitioners. Nice big closet, holy. It's really cool. Some ink. They had an Epson. Nice skylight too. All right. Got a nice marble for you for your bathroom. I don't want to be directly in the windows. The one side of the house has close neighbors. Who likes these kind of tubs? I've never had a bath in one. Doesn't look like they'd be that bad. Hold a decent amount of water, nice and deep. If you like those bathtubs, let me know. It'd be something I might have to invest in. bedroom. Big window. Let's back to the kitchen. That's where the glass is that you look down. Check it out. Oh, sorry about that. It's nice and open. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. There you can see some of the, the construction fence and they've got a porta potty already. The porta potty's here, you know the guys are here. It's just a little closet with one shelf. Not much going on. <laughs> I'm sure we'd be able to pull that and get it open, but let's not mess around. So we got the front doors here. Beautiful front, beautiful front foyer. And then more of the hands here. So maybe that wasn't explorers coming with their kids. Maybe that was the family. Before we move out, here you go, kids. Take some paint and do what you want. I like it though. Little tiny hands. Oh, 
nice skylight. It's good to see them intact. The last ones we were at, they were broken. It'd be nice if those were wood. See, this is the new age, just bulkheads, drywall. If this were 60s, 70s, maybe even 80s, those would be wood beams. Just a full, one single wood beam. They don't make it as nice as they used to. Beautiful marble. And their property is on a ravine. Goes all the way down. Nice little valley. And they got steps going down to it. Again, we don't want to be out there too much with, with the neighbors. But you can see all that in the drone shots at the beginning. So we made it to those stairs. Cool. Now I hope I'm not going too fast. There's just not too, too much in here. It's a nice walk through area. But you're sharing the bathroom with someone. That's a nice shower. New Age showers are a lot nicer than retro showers. We came through there, came through here, went through there, came out here. Look at those fancy lights. Those almost look like the 70s. The nice stone. Very cool. The skylights all over. That's nice to see. Lots of skylights, lots of natural light. All right. This beautiful house. Beautiful upstairs. Pot lights, skylights, giant windows, huge rooms. So perfect. I'm going to take a couple pictures, a couple pans, and then I'll meet you at these stairs here because that's where the basement is. All right. Let's make our way down these stairs. That's a serious iron railing. Heavy duty. Leads down to the basement, which we're gonna go down. It's beautiful. Again, I love the size of that room. <laughs> the basement seems like it's really far down. Like these are pretty st steep stairs almost. Sorry for my little bit of a uh, getting stuck on the words there. I didn't bring my water bottle and my mouth is very dry. It can get really dry in these houses when the air's not moving. Your lips get dry, your mouth gets dry. A smart oven. It's not in there. And then this room, just a wee little teeny tiny basement. It's almost like it'd just be meant for one person's room. Maybe this was the master bedroom down here. Why not? Hide away from everybody? Or a game room. Get a couple pool tables. Very cool. 
All right, everybody, what did I tell you, eh? Absolutely beautiful spot. I love the windows. I love the layout. It was absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys all enjoyed this one. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao.